Welcome to this presentation. In this presentation, we shall see how to place the correct symbol between two integers. Let's look at an example. Let us say we want to place the correct symbol less than or greater than between the numbers negative 2 and negative 5. So, the way we want to solve this example is as follows. Step number one. Step number one. We're going to draw the number line. We'll draw the number line the way we know it. And we'll put some numbers on this. This is the origin. And we'll put some positive numbers to the right of zero. One, two, three. And to the left of zero, we'll uh, put some negative numbers. Negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four negative 5 and so on. Now we want to recognize where these two numbers are negative 2 and negative 5. Negative 5 is here, negative 2 is here. So in the second step we want to, we want to write or we want to know is as follows. We want to know which symbol to place between negative 2 and negative 5. Negative 2 is closer to the origin than negative 5. So therefore negative 2 is greater than negative 5. That is the correct symbol we're going to that is the correct inequality symbol we're going to place between negative 2 and negative 5. We can also say like this negative 5 is less than negative 2 because negative 5 is further away from the origin when compared to negative 2. Therefore, negative 5 is less than negative 2. We can also say negative 2 is greater than negative 5. So let us look at another example. Let's look at another example here. In this example, let us place the correct symbol less than or greater than between the numbers 3 and negative 4. 3 and negative 4. So, we'll write down the steps the way we talked about in the first example. We'll draw the number line and we will identify some points in here. If we call this one as 0 and the numbers to the right of it are positive numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. If we need more numbers, we'll come back and then pick them up. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, and so on. So we'll identify the two points, which are the two numbers which are given to us. Positive 3 is on the right side of the origin. Negative 4 is on the left side of the origin. So these are the two numbers we're looking at. And therefore, the second step we want to write is as follows. We, we're going to place the correct symbol between 3 and negative 4. 3 is to the right side of, of the origin and negative 4 is to the left side of the origin. Therefore, 3 is greater than negative 4. 3 is greater than negative 4. And that's how we want to identify the correct inequality symbol between these two numbers. One is a positive number, the other is a negative number. The negative number will always be less than a positive number. Okay, let's look at another example. Let's look at another example. Let's say this time we will, we want to place the correct symbol between two numbers like this. The numbers we have are $127 and a negative one hundred and fifty dollars. These are the two numbers we have. So instead of just plain numbers, I wanted to make it a little bit more interesting and therefore I, I selected the dollar amount. So we'll follow the same steps. Step number one. Step number one, we'll draw the number line and then let, let us say we call this as the origin zero and for the positive number, since we have a positive one hundred and twenty seven dollars, I will put 
a number here as $127 to the right side of the origin and then to the left side of the origin I will ident identify this negative number this is negative $150 to the left side of the origin so as we know to the right side of the origin are positive numbers to the left side of the origin are negative numbers and therefore in step number two we want to place the correct inequality symbol between $127, $127 and negative $150, $127, let me write this a little better, so this is $127, $127 is greater than the negative $150 and that is the correct inequality symbol we want to place between these two numbers. So this is how we want to uh, make use of the inequality symbol to recognize the greater than or less than between two numbers. In my next presentation, we shall, we, sh we shall see real world application of some more of these integer numbers.